Welcome to Crypto Dex World. What happens when you combine the best of both worlds from Discord and OpenSea? You get Meta Player One. So let's see how to list those NFTs. Hello everyone, welcome to Meta Player One. We're going to see how to set up everything created now and how to go ahead and set up our token, our ticker name, all that stuff. But before we get started, I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> This is not financial advice. Please do your own research, due diligence, and don't invest in anything you're not willing to lose. So the idea of this is combining something like Discord and OpenSea. We all know OpenSea, the big NFT market, and we've all been on Discord to talk to people. I'm going to show you how to set up your Meta Player One app so you can interact with the community and how to work. Also know that the Meta Unit token is now on Uniswap. It's MUE for fuel advertisements as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to click connect wallet and you want to make sure you connect your wallet here i'm going to connect my metamask then i'm going to head and make my nickname i can choose dow and have my full name email phone number and i can type in a bio of some sort and i can click i'm done and it just takes a second to connect. We can see that I am connected now. We can see the amount of ETH I have. You can also see the profile I have as well. And this is my meta profile right here with my avatar and everything I need to interact. You can also see the collectibles, the DAO, then the different projects. So how do we actually get started in doing this and setting up everything? First, I want to go ahead and click on DAO here. And we can see what these look like. We can see how to interact with people. We can also see that we can join different communications and how this specifically works. To create a DAO is quite simple. You click on create DAO, you upload a image for the profile picture and for the cover photo. Then you want to put a contract name, a ticker, and then you want to have a max supply. This will be the tokens, the amount transferred to the owner, which will be you, and then the amount purchased by the community. So here I set 10,000 out of the price in Ethereum, minimum amount to just participate in the DAO or purchase products. I also have a description of what it is and a URL. Then all I have to do is click here and create DAO. And here we are going ahead and creating the DAO as such. We're going to go to our MetaMask and we can see the gas fees. Now we have insufficient funds, so we're going to have to take care of that. One thing we can do because we have insufficient funds is go to edit. I'm going to go to edit here and edit suggested gas fee. And I'll choose the lowest fees. Gas limit is one. Now this is a lot easier to do and I can actually afford this max fee. So I'm going to go ahead and go through with the transaction now Hit save here and then make sure that i have enough and then i have all the information right here total estimated gas fee and i hit confirm and now i have created a dao it's going to take a little bit of time to go through but that was all i need to do on my metamask to get that set up and one thing I like about this is it is quite simple. You just have to make sure you have the gas fees. And if you do not, you can go ahead, click edit, and then set it to the lowest one. So right now, we are just waiting patiently for a little bit. And my DAO is created. We can see that the DAO is on the way. So now we're just waiting and waiting patiently for that to pop up. And now I'm going to go ahead and click continue or click visit DAO page. And we can see my DAO right here. And I want to invite you guys to definitely jump in into my DAO, interact, jump on projects, and just help bring this community up to speed with all of your feedback, all of your interests, and everything that you're excited about, because that's how we grow Meta Player One, and that's how we grow additional DAOs. And we can see here the exchange rate for one ETH and all of the information there. Works. And we can take a look at the different collections they have for NFTs as well. 
And if you own one of these NFTs, you can be part of this collection, such as the full punks one. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and create, how do we do that? We click on create and we can see we have multiple options right here. And this is why I love Meta Player One. It makes creating everything extremely easy. This is why I love Web3 social networking. To create an NFT, you either want to decide if you want a single or multiple ones, depending on what you have. And then you're going to give it a name, description, the amount, royalties right here, and upload a file, whether it's PNG, JPEG, SVG, WebP, or MP4. And then you can create that NFT right there. Simple as that. You can also create a collection of them. You can do generative collection or selective, and that's quite simple. You upload the cover image, the title of the collection, the description, max amount, start time, price, and the API to refer to the media. Now the DAO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization. You go ahead and click Create DAO. You can also activate an existing one, but for the purposes, you want to upload a cover image, a logo image. You're going to create a contract name. You can have a ticker right here. And then you just want to go ahead and put the max supply, whatever it is of that token, the amount to transfer, and the amount to be purchased by the community. So you can say you have a million tokens here. You maybe want to transfer uh, 100,000 to whoever, and then the rest can be 900,000 for the community. You also want to put the price and the minimum amount to access DAO products. So if someone wants to be part of your decentralized autonomous organization, you need some kind of threshold there. A simple description will suffice and then a URL and you can literally create your decentralized autonomous organization. So within a few minutes, if you have everything ready to go, you can create NFTs, the collection, the DAO, and you can also create a decentralized meta space. And this meta space is going to be where you have your own rules, your own customs, whatever you're working with. And that one, you simply go ahead and upload a file, OBJ or JLB. You want to give it a title, information, give it a description, an owner fee and you can have profit shares and then you can literally create your own meta space just that quickly and you can also create a marketplace as well if you don't want to create a meta space and that's how easy it is to literally set up one of these as we can see here we can see different markets we can see how we interact there's a single nft here just to show you examples the transaction history what it's looking like and the nice thing about it is you can have this up and running right now all you have to do is have a wallet such as MetaMask and go ahead. Now, one thing I didn't mention is with the shard crystals, that's going to give you extra bonuses and extra perks. It's going to give power to a limited access of MetaSky and the power of minting generative assets of player one. So be sure to take a look out for the Meta Shard crystals. As far as creating a DAO and collections, we can see all what that looks like here. As we were previously looking at and the nice thing is if you have a creative outlet and you want to compete this is the platform to do it there's even coverage here so we can see the different things that they're doing with the different users how many units projects the DAO, and their coverage right here and that is meta player one in a nutshell what I love this so much is it makes accessibility easy. Just like logging into a Discord server, you're interacting with multiple people, so the interaction is there. And then it has the marketplace very much like OpenSea, which is going to help people compete, especially people who just want to upload their single NFT and go, or their multiple NFTs, create a DAO, and create a collection. This makes everything really easy and accessible. That's why I think a lot of people once they see this, are going to jump at this and say, hey, NFTs, even though the market goes up and down, this is the place to be to interact with other people and sell my NFT. And sir, right now in the alpha season, as this is absolutely amazing. And I'd love to hear your feedback on this platform. So if you did like it, make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to know when I post more videos. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below, guys. I think this is an awesome platform. And I will see you in the next video.